Hey, today we're going to look at a blending tool called Fantastics. And it's spelled a little weird. It's fan T A S T I X. It comes in two different tips. Okay. So that's the pointy tip, and then this is a rounded tip. It also comes with a little cap on it so that you can keep the tip from getting wrecked. Mine are mostly without the caps, and then I wonder what that cap is for. This is what they look like when you've been using them for a while. See, it's a little bit discolored, and the round ones I don't really use. So let's go ahead and look at this. So this is made up of fibers that go all the way down to the end. And see where it's darker? That's the color is deposited there at the end. So the brand new one is white all the way down to the end. But it doesn't really do anything. So first let me just soak in a little alcohol. And this is the one that does have some color on it. But you'll notice as I wipe it off on the paper towel, there's no color that's coming. So don't worry about there being color on there. And I guess if you really wreck them, you could go ahead and cut them with a pair of scissors. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to put down two colors and then use the Fantastics to blend between them. So this is a little bit of sailboat. And here's some mermaid. And then we'll use the Fantastics to take the ink and move it this way and take the sailboat and blend it back and forth. So you'll see it will move some color, but you can get a real nice blend between them. And depending on how wet it is, you'll either get stripes, but if it's pretty wet, then that will smooth out to a real nice smooth area. So here you can see that I've got some color on my Fantastic, so just go ahead and wipe it on a paper towel. Um, let's say that we want to soften this line. You can do that. Now this is on Yupo, and Yupo does have some staining. So there is going to be a bit of stain there, but you can pull the color out and make a very nice soft, soft shape with it. Perhaps you're painting some flowers and you want to get some nice soft petals. So the sailboat stains worse than the mermaid does, but we can pull some color here basically eliminate those lines and then as you come out farther it gets lighter and lighter and lighter and you get a real nice soft edge to it. The edge almost disappears. If you want to clean it you can go ahead and I have a little shot glass with alcohol in it you can go ahead and set it in there and it will wick up the alcohol. And then you can see your Fantastics is all clean again. A little spot here. Let's see, can we wipe that out? Yep. Pretty nicely. Okay. Then another thing that you can do with it is you can actually wick up ink. So let's put a little bit of this Copic refill into the palette. And if you set your Fantastics in it, what you'll see is it's wicking up the color. So with that wicked up color, then you can go ahead and paint with it. Now the, the tip is going to be really based on how fine that point is. You can grab some evaporated ink, so I've got a little bit in my palette, and put down a darker color. A 
Let's see what happens when we um, mix some sailboat with this BG49. So just suck them both up. And then see what color we've got. Okay, so it did blend the two colors together. You can get a little bit more of this color, a little bit more sailboat, and it makes it more of a deeper blue color. Now another thing that you'll notice is as I put this in here, if it's pretty wet, it'll spread to really nice soft area. So if you're doing the face of a wave or something like where you want that to be nice and smooth, you can go ahead and do that with this. Let's see what happens if we put some yellow in there. So here's some cad yellow in the palette. I'm gonna pull up some sailboat. Then I'm gonna wick up some of the yellow. Woo, that wicked up fast. Okay, so look at my fantastic now. See how it's yellow and it's blue. There's a lot of alcohol in that yellow. So I'm wicking up a little bit more blue. But you do get a nice green. So you could use it to blend right into the fant right with the fantastics. You get a green color. That's pretty fun. And then see as I go ahead and wipe that on my beautiful paper towel. And I've got those colors in there. So here's the rounded one. Let's just look some of that up. Let me get this yellow, it's got more color in it. So the rounded, it works okay, but it's just not the shape of a brush, it's not what I'm used to. Let me wick up just some alcohol. So it's just a shape that's not natural to a brush because it doesn't have a point on it, but it works just fine. But lots of times when you buy it, you get a pack of three of the pointy ones and three of the round ones. So I would just suggest just buy just the pointed ones instead. Look how beautiful and smooth those areas are. Oof, gorgeous. That is the Fantastics. It's a life-changing